We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. The Yanks have won five games in a row. They'll look for number six right after this. Chris Sale gets the ball for the Red Sox in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, listen, when you can go seven full innings like he did, I know he got a no decision in his last start, but it was a real solid performance. If he continues to pitch like that, the wins are going to start coming. Coming to the plate now, Miguel Andujar. And we are set for Leading baseball off, here this the evening. Game. The third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. Four and two over the last six games, including a win last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty V. Hey, Debo, we've got a couple of teams playing some good baseball right now. Unfortunately, a winning streak for one of these teams is going to end today, but boy, this is a great matchup here. Yeah, I'm excited to call this one with you two guys, definitely. The two teams playing top of their game right now, really playing well. Both come in on winning streaks. We're going to see who's able to execute in this one. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Pilar patrolling center makes the play one out. That accepted the designated hitter Aaron Judge. Next will be the designated hitter, Aaron Judge. He comes in today leading the American League in batting for the season. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. First pitch of the at-bat. Yep, that ball went out. This is an awesome matchup, especially at this moment in time. You got some guys that are fighting for some serious hardware, and I want to see how this shakes out. One ball, one strike to count. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Judge has an eye-grabbing batting line, one that resides above the 340 plateau. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. That is third. The right field. Giancarlo. Danton. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Yanks nothing. Sox coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Jordan Montgomery gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Stepping into the box, Jose Peraza. He'll lead things off here in the Leading bottom half of the first. Porto Red Sox. The second baseman. Okay. Now here it comes. To first. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Batting second. The right fielder. Alex. Verdugo. Striding in for Boston. Alex Verdugo. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. First pitch on its way. 
Fastball well outside. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Matty, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. And there are the umpires working this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely a pitcher's umpire. I, I always felt like this. He's He will give a little bit on the corners, both inside and outside. I think he's a fair umpire, but I would rate him more as a pitcher's umpire than a hitter's umpire. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Torres trying to get there. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Batting third. The left fielder. J.D. Martinez. Now in the box. J.D. Martinez. He's of course a long ball threat. Currently third in the American League in that category. Yeah, guys, this isn't a shocker right here. He is definitely known as one of the best pure power hitters in baseball these days. First offering on its way. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Gardner going back. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a solo shot to dead center. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Xander Bogarts. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and a curveball taken for strike two. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0-2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. Second inning coming up, and Boston has the early 1-0 lead. Second inning set to go. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Torres. Labor. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1 0. Torres is really a well balanced hitter. It doesn't seem to matter whether he's facing a right hander or a lefty. He makes a lot of loud contact either way, which is quite rare in today's game. Yeah, you can tell this guy really pays attention, puts time in the cage, studies the video, seems to always have a game plan, and is not off balance too much. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Brett Gardner waits on deck.
And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Red Sox on top in the early going. 1 0 as we play the second. Chased a bad one there, one and one. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Fouled off. Another try at 2 2. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. The wind up and the 0 1. At the ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and two to the Yankees catcher. The one two. Two ball, two strikes. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Here now is Rafael Devers. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. First offering on its way. Montgomery has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. Now the 1 0. And he fouls this one off. Devers stands at six foot even. That's left, throws right. Enters the day in third place in all-star fan voting at his position at third, so it remains to be seen whether he'll end up making the squad or not. Yeah, and you don't want to leave it up to a manager's decision. You want to get in based on the fan vote, and he has a chance to do exactly that if he can make a late push as we head towards the Midsummer Classic. Now the 2-1 pitch. It's the outside corner for the second strike. I got to count two and two. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. And 
it's fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. Fouled away. And right into the shift. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Lined hard toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So a base hit here to start the inning, and he continues to pile them up as we take a look at our league leaders in hits so far. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Kevin Pillar batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. First pitch of the at bat. Now a fastball on the inside corner and he takes a look at strike one. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Two and one, the count of Pilar. Hit on the ground to third. Andujar's got it. LeMayhew for one. Devoit in time for the double play. Next up for the Red Sox, Christian Vasquez, having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. First delivery to him on the way. Hey! Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gardner is there. And that's the third out. Nothing doing for Boston. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Peraza ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The first baseman, the board. Now at the plate, Luke Voigt. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Pitch on the way. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance 
to get the barrel of that one. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Bases are empty, one man out. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Yankees. Sometimes you just got to trust your hands. That pitch probably wasn't even in the zone, and he was able to fight it off for a base hit. At the plate now, Mike Talkman, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Hit softly down the line at first. To second for one. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Red Sox one and the Yankees nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And Michael Chavis will step in at the plate. The designated hitter. Now the pitch. Ah. Oh, one's the count. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Ball in. Grounded back up the middle. And that's out number one. And this is not an easy play where you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Now to the plate, Mitch Moreland. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. One out, nobody on. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Now the one and one pitch. Back up the middle. Torres brings it in. Throw on to first, two gone. Well, I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle. And he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. Ready for another chance? Jose Peraza. Here comes the first pitch. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. The 1-0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. Two out, nobody on. And he gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. Yeah. 
Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And now pitch on the way. Now you guys know me hitting's a process of elimination and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch I'm on everything else. Full count to Jose Barraza. Hey this guy's a hard guy to put away he's fouling off some tough pitches 2 2 count and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Lofted in the air out toward right center Stanton coming on. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They lead it one to nothing. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Leading off for the Yankees, the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. One's the count. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Anduhar stands at an even six feet tall, a right-handed batter and thrower. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussion at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Outside for a ball, one and one. Hit hard on the ground towards second. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Now batting, right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth and set to stand in the ultra dangerous Giancarlo Stanton in there for strike one oh and one you can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now that's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. The wind up and the 0 one. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. No runs just one hit and no errors for the Yankees so far. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders side retired. So the Yanks go one two three. They're down one nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. The right fielder, Alex. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Off the plate, ball one. Now here's the pitch. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing and he's down one and two. And he struck him out. The great equalizer the changeup. That was a really good job of getting him to Stop offer that, that one out of the zone. And it was all set up by the fact that he got ahead in the count and forced the hitter to have to protect. That's the name of the game. Here's J.D. Martinez. 
as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. One run, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. The 1 0 home. Grounder down the line at third. One one and this one's in the dirt good job there as the count goes to one and two working for the punch out and the offering he might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two he's already seen the curveball a couple of times so he might be looking for it from the belt the pitch. Now a curveball ripped down the left field line. That's a fair ball. The relay. And he's safe. He's safe. And he just blasts this thing down the left field line. I thought it might have been foul, but it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good looking swing. Rafael Devers the next to bat as he takes a cold strike on the black it's 0 and 1 in his career Devers carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau there's a fastball pretty close that time but ruled a ball one and one. in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now great job by the pitcher right there to put him in the proverbial rocking chair slowed him down sped him up slowed him down let's see where he's going now on you can tell he wanted to hold off but he swings through the inside pitch anyway and he becomes out number two that's a pretty good pitch right there that fastball on the inner half of the plate you can see that he just isn't able to get those arms extended and pretty ugly swing right there. At the plate, Kevin Pillar. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hit on the ground out to short. Torres picks it up. And the throw to first will be in time, so the Red Sox come up empty, and the inning is over. Boston strands a couple, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Back now at Fenway Park, and here's Heidi Watney with a report. 
Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. All right, thanks, Heidi. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Torres, and he'll step in to start things out against Chris Sale. First delivery to him on the way. And he gets ahead 0-1. 0-1. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher, able to pound the zone with all different options. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. I got the one and two. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. The one two tapped out in front of home and the fifth inning will start with a ground out one away. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders and as you can see there he currently leads the AL in that department. So one gone in the inning now, and that'll bring in Brett Gardner. First pitch coming, here it is. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Gardner, a native of South Carolina. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. Yeah, Matty, it's going to be interesting to see where this guy lands at the end of this season. A lot of variables come into place. He's had a long career. It's going to be interesting to see if a team steps out past one or two years for this player. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Bases are empty. One man out. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Man, this guy's really starting to swing the stick again, d -roll. That extends his hitting streak to nine games. Yeah, he's leaking in the three series right here now. Nine games, that's getting firm. He's seeing the ball well, and he's making a proper adjustments at the plate. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 0. -oh. It's a fastball that misses. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one on to Moreland, and they roll two to end the inning. Down in order go the Yankees. It remains one nothing. Leading off for the Red Sox, the catcher. Here comes the first pitch. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose.
And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. Down the left field line and deep. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. The one two. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Sanchez gathers. The throw down to first, one away. Now back, the designated hitter. So here's Michael Chavis now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. The one one misses for the second ball. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now the 2 1. Hit sharply on the ground. Enduhar fields it cleanly. On to first, and there were two down. The bat, the first baseman, Smith, more left. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring up a former gold glover the first baseman Mitch Moreland and now pitch on the way wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. the 1 0 line to the right side. But well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox, but they lead it one to nothing. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. First pitch on its way. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Up top, it's 2 0. Oh. Here it comes. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And he fouls this one off. Skied into straightaway right. Verdugo is in his tracks now. One gone. The batter, the first baseman, Luke Boyd. Striding into the box, Luke Voigt. He reached on a single in his first try. Now the pitch. Nope. 
the 1-0. Line toward the gap in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. I mean, he absolutely smoked that baseball right there. But was he watching it then? Oh, that was that was a tough one right there. You know, as a hitter, you should be thinking extra bases coming out of the box. He definitely squared this one up. Pretty good chance, though, d -Row. He should have been standing on second base with a double. to the plate now Mike Talkman pulled toward right center field on the move is Pilar he gets there and that's the second out up next to the Yankees the third base Miguel and Duhar. so it's a runner at first with two men out and striding into the plate it'll be Miguel and Duhar. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A bouncer up the middle. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. And it's grounded just foul down the line. No hits to this point. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. One and one. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Try to hold back on the pitch inside, but he pretty clearly broke the plane that time. It's strike two. The one two. Boyd over at second and Duhar at first two out in the inning. Hit high and deep to left field. Back goes Martinez. And it bangs off the monster. And to score is the runner from first. It's now a two to one ball game. Man, you can't hit it any better than that and keep it in the park. As we take a look here, you can see that it hits high off the wall. Almost a three-run homer, but will have to be content with a two-RBI double. Giancarlo Stanton now. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. He's set the 0 1. There seem to be different philosophies on it, so Dan, what was your approach at 0 2 counts? My philosophy is this. I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Yankees two and the Red Sox one. Bottom of the sixth inning on its way, but first, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager, and he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. Too much of the time they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2, and that's basically never a formula for success. 
He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at, so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off. And here's Jose Peraza. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball, Ball one. One and one. Hey. A ball and two strikes now. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. Line to the right side. But this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. Now batting left fielder. J.D. Martinez. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth, and that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. Now here's the pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Low scoring game thus far, 2-1 here in the sixth. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. And a curveball drops in on two, one, two and two now. Hit hard on the ground a second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Our score remains two to one. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there, a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And it misses three and one now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. The three and one pitch. 
well hit but also well fouled into the seats and left. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning, it's so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. So that was a big out. Here's Brett Gardner now. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. I got that one and two classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. The 1-2. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Verdugo waits on it. Two down. Now batter. The catcher. Gary Sanchez. Ready once again, Gary Sanchez. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. You see there, the pitch count is up to 88. And at this point in the game, that's a good place to be. So I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. The slider is laid off on the inside as it just misses the zone. What we're seeing here is a guy getting pitched to very carefully. It doesn't matter that there's two outs and nobody on. He's a threat to score even when he's standing in the batter's box. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Two two pitches fouled away. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed then he's laid on the fastball he could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Started to go did he hold up in time. Yes says the first base umpire it's ball three now. And he struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning. One two three go the Bombers. And they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Luis Sessa gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 85, Luis Sessa. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring up the power hitting shortstop Xander Bogarts. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Here's the first pitch to him. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The 1-1 home.
swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Into the box, Rafael Devers. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's one for two in this one. Fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2 0. Past meetings against Luis Sessa. He's gone 2 for 6. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Around first, digging for 2. And it's off the green monster. And there's your tying run at second base with a one out double. Wow, when I heard that and saw it leave his bat. I thought we were going to be all tied up, but it just didn't have enough to get out of here, so he's going to have to settle for a double. Tying run on second, and now things are officially getting interesting. Into the box now, Kevin Pillar. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. No hits to this point. The 1 0. In the dirt here. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2 0. As a look, now the pitch. Grounded to short. Torres scoops it up. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Tap for the red flag. The catcher. Digging in, Christian Vasquez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at bat on its way. at that one either it's 2 and 0 no reason to give in to him here with a base open putting him on base just gives your defense more ways to help get you out of this here's the 2 0 hit out towards second throw in the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired one left for the Red Sox they still trail it here 2 to 1. Wade Hembry has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 37, Keith Hembry. Stepping up to the plate, DJ LeMayhew. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. First delivery to him on the way. It's way the 0 1 pitch hit the other way out toward right field. Verdugo waits on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And there are the final numbers for the Boston starter. He was great all night long. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. And this guy certainly wasn't in this one, didn't allow a walk all game long. Stepping in now, Luke Voigt. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Swings through it for strike number two. And now the Red Sox will get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. 
Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And he looks at a ball one and two. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work, but now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. First game of a new series, and he's already sitting on three knocks right now. The pitching staff might have to make an adjustment going forward. In now, Mike Talkman. That's a ball. And a ball, 1 0. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1 0. Hey. One out, one on, and a one run game. Oh. And he misses 2 and 1. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Verdugo. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. And I think that may have been a situation where the runner on first was waiting to see if the ball was going to get down or not. If there were two outs, he most likely scores there. Instead, he has to hold the third. Can't really fault him for that, though. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Miguel Andujar. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. That's what's called getting the treatment. Everyone knows he's a power threat with the bat. So it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's in there for strike one. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. This is where you got to empty the bucket out on the mound. Throw your best stuff right here, right now, and try and get out of this. If anything catches outfield grass, this game's probably over. Guide down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Bases are loaded with only one out. And this is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. At the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Looking to keep this one-run game, the pitch. And that swung on and missed for strike one. in the air out to center field. Pilar is there as he makes the catch and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Yankees leave them loaded. They lead it two to one. 
Chad Green is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 57, Chad Green. Bottom of the inning now, and Michael Chavis will step in at the plate. The designated hitter, Michael Chavis. First delivery to him on the way. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Oh, that's out. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. The 2 1 home is strike two swinging. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. The 2 2. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full 3-2. and two. It's been a great job so far by the 8-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. The 3-2 pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Oh, he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine-pitch at-bat. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's the favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling yeah. balls and strikes is a really oh, tough wow. job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. Object for the Red Sox. The second baseman. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate. Jose Peraza. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball one, no play. The slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Now the 2-0. 3 and 0 now. Alex Verdugo would be next if they can keep this inning alive. The 3-0. He's taken strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted into center field. Gardner is there. No trouble with this one and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're down 2 1.
Ryan Brazier enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one and that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres. From the stretch, ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the move is Pilar. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Riding in, Brett Gardner. He flew out in his last at bat. The pitch. <laughs> One run game here in the top of the ninth. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. And it's one and two. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. Slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. The 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Blake now, Gary Sanchez hit hard on the ground to first, and that's through for a hit. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there? He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he did it. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on you because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in the clutch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. He set the 0-1. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Two and one, here it is. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. One left for the Yankees. They still lead it two to one. Adam Ottavino is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Number zero, Adam Ottavino.
Standing in, Alex Verdugo. And you may notice the usual closer is not in the game here with the save opportunity on the table. Yeah, he's worked a few days in a row, Matt, so we were told before the game by the skipper he wanted to avoid using him if possible. So that means they will look to close this thing out without him. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Fouled away. Swing and a line drive. And that's the first out. Oh, man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First offering on its way. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Now the 0-1. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two-seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Now the 2-1. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. That is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. The batter, number two. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Xander Bogarts. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Good heater as he just watches this baby a ball and a strike. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. He hits it high and deep out to center field. Gardner going back, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. The New York Yankees wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Jordan Montgomery earns his fifth winner of the year. Chris Sale pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Adam Ottavino earns the save out of the bullpen, his first of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.